After a smooth touchdown, the shadow of Blue Ghost 1's shadow on the moon's surface. The first pictures coming in just minutes after contact. A triumph for Texas-based company Firefly. I feel good. It's, it's been a... <laughs> It's been a great night and, and a long journey. The lander will perform 10 experiments developed by NASA and help pave the way for humans returning to the moon. The experiments include drilling into the lunar surface, analyzing moon dust, and even photographing an eclipse and lunar sunset. Understanding how we would future human explorers could more efficiently operate on lunar surface, uh, and then also demonstrating technologies. So there's a whole variety of payloads relative to those. Blue Ghost 1 was launched last month as the lander neared its destination, stunning views like these, providing data for mapping the moon that will add to future missions, manned and unmanned. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The United States remains the only country to land men on the moon way back in 1969, but no American company has ever successfully put a working unmanned lander on the moon's surface. Other countries like Russia, China, India, and Japan have done that. Blue Ghost 1's mission is only expected to last two weeks. At that point, night will fall, and the electronics will most likely not work under the freezing temperatures of lunar night. But even that will be a valuable experiment. We will attempt to reconnect after the lunar night. I will say we are not required to and we don't expect to. Um, that the lander and the avionics were not des designed to survive the lunar night, but we might as well try.